magic going. I'm so excited to see all of you. All right. Boom. We are recording. Welcome. 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 Come on in. If you can, if you're in a place where you can turn on your camera, please do so. If you are at work or at school and you're unable to do so, then I totally understand that. But please turn on your camera if you can. Let's give a moment since it's the first session for everyone to gather. So you're gonna need three things for this experience, okay? Three things to make this experience a success. So you're gonna need a candle. So get a, go get a candle. For today, you're gonna need some water to drink because we move a lot of energy. And then in the future, you're going to need a journal. Okay, but we're going to get into all of that in a moment. I just want to just give people a chance to gather. And if you are new to these sessions, I'm going to invite you to please turn your camera on, turn your camera on, turn your camera on, unless you are at work, you are at school or on school drop off, pick up or something like that. I know that we are coming from different places, different times, um, the, uh, different locations, etc. okay? But I'm so excited to see all of you. Please turn your cameras on, turn your cameras on. I think the first person that I saw today, the very first person to get in the waiting room was Goddess Esther. So we're gonna make sure to talk to you, Goddess Esther, today. Um, and then I'm seeing Goddess Marnie and Goddess Sakina. So they are the people that if we have time to chat with folks, that we're going to chat with them. All of you who are there with your cameras off, I totally understand. Um, feel free to, you can watch things on replay and we're going to get into all of the magic. Let's just give one more moment for people to gather since it is the first session. Again, you're going to need three things. You're going to need your deck. If you have one, the deck that we are using is the Secrets of the Ancestors Oracle deck. You are going to need water to replenish, replenish yourself. You're going to need a candle and you're going to need a journal. But you don't need, if you don't have any of those things today, it's okay. It's all right, okay? All right, so let's just take another moment, give folks a chance to gather. Again, I'm going to ask you to please turn your cameras on, turn your cameras on, turn your cameras on. When we are having camera on experiences, please turn your cameras on <laughs> so that we can be fully and completely present. I'm laughing because my dad just wandered into my yard and is randomly watering plants <laughs> and I'm looking to see just to make sure he's not gonna like wander to the back of the camera I am grateful that I still have my dad um and he can wander into my yard and start randomly watering plants while I'm in the middle of <laughs> doing a session so please type into the comments who you are, introduce yourself and where you are, who you are and where you are, and let us begin. I am Abiola Abrams, and this is the orientation for the Secrets of the Ancestors Oracle Certification Course. I am in New York State. I am in, on Lenape. All love and all praises to the Lenape people who are the yeah. original stewards and ancestors upon this land. Type into the comments. We're typing into the comments if you're just joining us, who you are and where you are located, who you are and where you're located. And so what we're going to be doing in this session is that I'm going to be sharing with you an overview of the course, an overview of how we're proceeding, and for those of you that are choosing to do your certification, how that will unfold as well. Certification is not mandatory as a part of this course practice. Some people I know are doing it for your own personal development and empowerment, and that is perfectly fine. And others are wanting to be certified, so I will share all of that information today. 
but this is an interactive experience, an interactive experience. And so <laughs> turn your cameras on. This is the last time I'm going to say it, I think, for this session. <laughs> turn your cameras on if you're able to do so and type into the chat who you are and where you're located. Okay. All right. So let's pull a card because that's why we're here from the Secrets of the Ancestors Oracle deck and get some clarification on the sacred intention for this session, okay? The other thing that I want you to type into the chat after you have typed in your introduction is if there are any specific ancestors that you would like to acknowledge, because we're gonna be doing libations in a little bit. If there are any, any specific ancestors that you would like to acknowledge, and I want to give this also this information and disclaimer. If you do not have ancestors that you know of who you are wanting to acknowledge, you can just acknowledge your, you can say either my maternal line, my paternal line. You can always also say my divine masculine or divine feminine ancestors, or you could give them a name like, you know, my grandmas and my grandpas. You can give them a name, like a very specific name, like, you know, my, um, my Agnes's and Otis's, <laughs> however, whatever works for you, okay? Just because you don't have specific near related ancestors that you are aware of or loved ones who are on the other side does not mean that you do not do libation practices, okay? Yes, Goddess Joanne, you can say all of my ancestors, known and unknown, absolutely, absolutely. So type into the comments as you are acknowledging and we are going to pull from the deck and let's begin with goddess esther since you were the first one in the chat if you are still here not able to see on the front if goddess esther is here please come unmute yourself and come on forward i'm seeing you but i'm not hearing you let me just turn this up Okay, Goddess Esther, if you were speaking before, please speak again. Can you hear me now? I can. There you are. Welcome, Goddess. Hi, everyone. I'm coming in from Bali, Indonesia. I'm from America, but I've been in Bali for the last seven years, and I'm so excited to be here. Oh, wonderful. I want to also acknowledge, as I said, you were the very first person waiting room and so I'm glad that you are here your ancestors are glad that you are here let's begin by pulling a card from the secrets of the ancestors oracle deck so please give us a number between 1 and 21 all right 1 and 21 16 okay all right so 16 okay this deck has been cleared and blessed and that's one of the things that we will work on in this course and so let's go for number 16 sweet 16 Ooh, yes wow. honey <laughs> three, 16 okay three, two, three four five six seven oh we had a jumper eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 okay and i'm pulling from the top of the deck all right, so you may choose to pull from the top of the deck, or the center of the deck, or the bottom of the deck for different times and different reasons. We will get into that. But right now, I'm just pulling a card from the top of the deck. And we have called forward the energy of limitless prosperity. Yes, honey. Prosperity. Let's so go. In the comments, type the com in the comments, limitless prosperity. Limitless prosperity. That is our energy for today. And then the leaper, the card that jumped out of the deck, <laughs> unsurprisingly, is the card of the ancestral force, the card of completion, okay? So these are our anchors for today. Altar of Earth, the altar cards, all of the altar cards in the deck are the most potent cards in the deck. Okay, the altar cards are the most powerful. We will, of course, get into that in the weeks to come. But this is the altar of earth card, limitless prosperity, and ancestral force card 
for completion. All right, we will get more into that in a bit for my tarot people. The ancestral force, the correspondent of this card is um, the world. Okay, we will get into all of that in a bit as we go forward. But I wanted to us to begin with libations. And so pouring libations can be done with water. It can be done with rice. It can be done with liquor and wine. There are different times that you may choose to pour libations and for different reasons. Libation is a replenishing of, an acknowledgement of, giving, giving, giving love to um, our sacred ancestors, known and unknown, who walked the earth before us. There are several different kinds of ancestors that we could have. You could have community ancestors. So again, for the folks we were talking about earlier, if you don't have um, specific ancestors you want to acknowledge, you may want to acknowledge your community ancestors. We have ancestors that of the land. We have plant ancestors and animal ancestors, our spirit guides, a lot of different guidance around us. We come as one, but we stand as 10,000. We come as one, but we stand as 10,000. We come as one, but we stand as 10,000. So we're going to do some pouring of some libations today. I want to invite you to all unmute. We're all going to unmute. And as I am pouring the libations, I want you to just call out the names. Say the names of whoever it is that you are grateful for. You can say, I am grateful for such and such, or you can just say their name, right? We are raising the vibration by filling the, the energy with all of those who have blessed this space, who have prayed for us, who have mm. created this opportunity for us to come together, who perhaps mm -hmm. who have perhaps have already gathered together and are there together on the other side and exalted, yes. celebrating the fact that we have found each other and yes. we are present for this journey. So let's get into some mm. Let's get into some libations. Mm. We are so happy and so grateful for our ancestors. Yes, we are. And for all of those who walked the earth before us, we give thanks for all who woke up today on the other side and prayed for us. We give thanks to all of those who are holding space for us. We give thanks for every sacrifice that has yes. ever been made in our names. We give thanks for those who write this minute. Write this minute. Thank you so much. Uh, we don't see them perhaps, but we feel mm -hmm. them. We give thanks for all of our mothers and grandmothers and great, great grandmothers who are on the other side. Mm -hmm. We give thanks for all of our fathers and grandfathers and great grandfathers and yes. great grandfathers and yes. beyond yes. Who are you. on the other side. Yes. And thank we you. feel your energy. We are so yes. grateful for you. We acknowledge yes. you. We feel yes. you. We smell you. We hear you. We yes. This is, and we feel your touch, and we are so grateful for you. We give thanks for every soul and every spirit yeah. who is in accordance and in alignment with our personal evolution and the evolution of consciousness. Yeah. We are so very grateful for you. We see you and we say your names. I yeah. personally acknowledge. Thank you to Ma. Thank you to um, the Thank you, Helen Howell, Brand Sophie Adams, Yvonne Wood, Carson Ray, Bruce Apparition Carter, Mother Earl Carson, all lines that supported the Ruth Bradley, Ashworth Bradley, Ruth Bradley, Patty Prelo, Nancy Rose, thank you, thank you to Aunt Clarkson, Aunt Daddy, Aunt Rachel. Daphne, your word. Gigi. Father, so I both know it unknown. Oh, Bonnie. Lord Thomas. Say your name. Say your name. Lord Thomas. Lord Thomas. Uncle Ernest. Aunt Blanche, Helen Howell. Thank you. Thank you. Lewis Aparatio Carter. Lewis Carter. 
they descended. Those Carter the third. Brother Amar. They ascended. My ancestors known and unknown. I'm far from the highest gun in the heart. And my sister, Marjorie. Thank, Thank you. We can't hear you, Abiola. Mm. Uh, we are grateful for you. So let me come back and I will keep repeating. Thank you for letting me know that. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. So are you much. able to see me? Yes, yes. Yes. So I was saying thank you to all those who walked before. Thank you to yeah. the mothers, the grandmothers, the great great grandmothers, the aunties, the great aunties. Thank yes. you to the uncles, the fathers, the brothers, the sisters, the great grandfathers and the grandfathers who walked to this earth before. Thank you to the spirit babies and all those gone too soon. We mm. see you. We feel you, we acknowledge you, we are grateful for you. We pray for you and we receive your prayers. Yes. Your audio went out again, Abiola. Okay, okay, let's see. Our energy is way powerful. Let's see, are you able to hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, and what I will do for everyone who is in the course is I will record a separate libations indoors so that you can also hear it clearly, so that you can hear clearly. Let me just come here. Okay, okay, I will, I will record an, a libation indoors. So even the things that we didn't hear Let's know, we know that those who need to hear heard it, right? Yes, we know that our ancestors heard it. We know that, our, that the divine heard us and felt us and we are here for them. We are here for them and they are here for us. Okay, so are you able to hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. So I will stay within this proximity here. I will stay here close by so that you can hear me. So this deck is an act of, it's an offering, a sacred offering of, and all Oracle decks, all real Oracle decks, real Oracles are a communication device between us and the divine, between mm -hmm. us and the sacred, between us and sacred energy. Because most of us, you know, as we're going on with our daily lives, many of us do not have a means to be able to transmit or translate the guidance that we may be receiving. And so having a tool, a sacred tool like Oracle cards um, is a beautiful way to begin a relationship with the divine. A rela and this deck specifically is about a relationship with the ancestors, a relationship with ourselves, which is at the center of it, a relationship with ourselves. And so Oracle decks can be used as a predictive measure. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. But most importantly, they can be used as a personal development tool. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that at any moment in time, we can pull a card like we just did and we came up with Limitless Prosperity, which was beautiful. And that is a snapshot and a reading that is accurate for that moment. For what, for all factors being true here at the time of this recording on, you know, this Friday and this full moon uh, light, full moon energy, all factors being true, we are tuned in and tapped into this energy right this moment. So at when we get a reading that we enjoy, that we, we like, like Limitless Prosperity, right, we need less of that explanation. But when we get a reading that scares us or that we don't like, 
And oftentimes people will get scared. And this is why people have fears around tarot and Oracle and other divination. You know, they feel like, Oh my gosh, you know, my, my, my future is written. My future is locked in. This is a done deal for me. There is nothing that is a done deal while you have breath and you are here on this earth because your decisions can shift things at any point in time. Your decisions can shift things upon your choice, all right? And our ancestors are there to be our guides, to be our stewards, our healed ancestors are there to have an active part in our lives if we want them to, right? You have to invite them, invite your ancestors into sacred conversation or relationship with you, all right? So if you are wanting them, and the reason why I say our healed ancestors is that, you know, we have some ancestors just like we have folks here on earth with us who are unhealed or wouldn't be the best person to be a guide in a specific moment. And so this deck, the beautiful thing about this deck is I want you to think of, even as we learn about the images and you know um, the, the symbolic language on the cards as we go through and learn that, I want you very much with this deck to think of it in terms of energy energetic consciousness and so there are different levels to which you could work. so this card that we pulled today um with with the help of goddess esther this card that we pulled forward we could look at it on a physical surface basis and say okay i see you know just a surface reading i see a goddess and she is in a garden she is holding a coin and the words say altar of earth limitless prosperity that's surface level reading but it is it could be enough for a moment in time if we go deeper okay and we can go into the guidebook and then we go a level beyond that when you feel into the energy of the card there is a specific ancestor that each of us have, ancestor or ancestors, known or unknown, that this card, this specific entity is representative of. And so for some people, some people may look at the actual goddess or um, energy on the card and say, wow, that person physically resembles my such and such even though they may be you know a different complexion or weight or ethnicity or you know even gender you know they that 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 person physically that person remem reminds me of such and such but then if you feel even deeper you can feel into and we're going to be doing um some trance work meditation work in order to tap into the energy of each card you will feel energetic. This person has the energy of my grandmother, great, great grandmother. Um, you may be able to pick out a specific ancestor, even if you don't know them and have never heard of them and, and are not have not been aware of them. But this person feels like they have the energy of my fifth great grandmother, you know, maternal grandmother who was in such and such a continent or country or state or experience at a certain time. And it will feel when you are at the beginning of doing this work, like you're making it up. Like, okay, does that really feel like my grandmother or grandfather? Or am I imagining that? Am I making it up? Does it really feel like that person? Or am I, am I making that up? And so what I want to say to you is to trust your inner guidance. Trust your inner guidance and trust your guides, okay? It feels like you're making it up only because you have to get practiced on the muscle of clarity and certainty and knowing that, all right, when, you know, knowing how to interpret and read 
and hear the voice of the divine or the voice of your spirit guides or the voice of your ancestors versus is it my inner voice? So I want you to trust. So I want you to just to promise, just type into the comments the word trust, all right? I want you to just trust going forward. Trust that when guidance says to you, wow, that is, I am looking at the spinning image of my grandfather or grandmother or, you know, the spitting image of an ancestor that is not related to me, but who shares space with me or who shares land with me or whatever it is. We're going to move forward in the energy of trust. Yes, the energy of trust. And so some of the things that we're going to be doing in this experience, I'm seeing uh, a lot of new faces, but a lot of, I won't say a lot of old faces because we don't have old faces. <laughs> a lot of experienced faces who have been in circles with me before. So I want you to bring the knowledge that you have from other circles that we've done in other courses and other certifications. But I also want you to come in with the energy of being new and being curious and being open because this is a very different deck and it does have very different teachings. So even when we learn how to make an ancestral altar as we have, you know, there's a very, as we have, you know, maybe in other courses and other situations, allow yourself the energy of the fool, who is, you know, Boo Boo the Fool in this deck. Let's see if we can find Boo Boo. Boo Boo the Fool, the energy of, of openness, the energy of curiosity, the energy of not, no, not knowing it all. <laughs> because there's a difference between having information and there's a difference between allowing it to create transformation for you. And a lot of us have, being the RSG's really smart girls who are here, a lot of us have a lot of information that we have, but we have to allow it to make shift happen within us, transformation happen within us, which is a part of one of the, the beautiful um, parts of this journey. So you're not only going to learn this deck and learn to increase your sacred relationship, with your ancestors and ancestors you know on the planet and learn how to do that learn how to read for yourself and others but this is also a manifestation tool and manifestation journey because at the heart of manifestation and creation the things that our ancestors prayed that we have, the lives that our ancestors prayed for us to have, the love, abundance, health, and prosperity that our ancestors want for us now at this moment. At the heart of manifestation is not the surface level, which we play at a lot when we do um do you know YouTube lives or whatever it is, you know, what is it, what is it that you want, what is it that you desire? That but the next level is who do I need to be vibrationally in order to be in accordance and in alignment with the life that was dreamed for me, the life that is being dreamed for me actively right now? Who do I need to become? How do I, where do I, where do I need to evolve? as I am stepping into my higher self and stepping, entering into the dream that the divine is dreaming for me. No one's ancestors who are healed ancestors said, I want my descendants to struggle. I want those who come after me. And this is relevant for, because there are different kinds of ancestors. There are, you know, um, blood related ancestors, but family ancestors are not always blood related, right? Family ancestors are not always our family and bloodline ancestors. None of them said, I want those who come after me to not do well or to have a hard time unless they were unhealed, unless they were unhealed. And if they were sick or unhealed or had those challenges, 
they are not the ones that we are working for, right? We, we give them love. We appreciate them. We hold space for the unhealed, but they are not the ones that we are actively building an evolutionary relationship with unless they are moving forward as well. So the dream that they dreamt for you, for each and every one of us, the dream that because linear time as we know it, as we say all the time, linear time does not exist. So the dream that is actively being dreamt for you right this moment, for your ancestors who are on the other side and your ancestors that you also are, right? Because we are not only our ancestors' wildest dreams, we are our ancestors. You are the evolution and reincarnation of someone, right? There are souls at different ages and different experiences. And so if there are challenges sometimes that you've been working on for a long time and saying, Abiel, I've been trying to get rid of this thing for a long time, you know, we're going to do something different energetically to shift it. Instead of trying to shift it at the energy of mindset, which is energy trumps everything. Energy eclipses, better word. <laughs> energy eclipses everything, right? And so that is where we want to work. We want to work in the energy of the dream that is being dreamed for us. So I wanna invite you now to type into the comments the dream that is being dreamed for me is. Don't think too much on it. Don't try to, it doesn't have to be the most profound, best answer that you ever gave in your life. Whatever comes to you first is the answer. The dream that is being dreamed for me is fearlessness and self-love. Yes, the dream that is being dreamed for me is an abundant life. Yes, the dream that is being dreamed for me is to remember who I am at a soul level. The dream that is being dreamed for me is true freedom. Yes, is that I'm a wild, free, yes, abundant woman. The dream that is being dreamed for me, yes, is liberation, beautiful. The dream that is being dreamed for us on many different levels, how beautiful, how perfect. The dream that is being dreamed for me is that I own my gifts. The dream that is being dreamed for me is to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and free. We're seeing so much overlap, right? Freedom, the liberation, the abundance, the love, the health, the happiness, the well-being. The dream that is being dreamed for me is peace and joy and abundance that flows through generations. Ah, oh, these are so yummy. The dream that is being dreamed for me is to be my best self. Yes. The dream that is being dreamed for me, beautiful. Yes, 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 is to be my best self, my best version of me. That is what our ancestors want for us. And they are willing and able and excited to help us to shift into that alignment where all of that already is. It already is. It's already done. I say it already is. We may be doing things to hold ourselves out of the flow of that, out of the flow of that, right? We may be doing things to change things back to where we feel safe, to where it feels more comfortable for us. And some of those things may look like gifts and strange wrapping paper, like, well, why would it feel more comfortable for me to be unhealthy or unloved or poor or broke or whatever it is? There are payoffs that we are getting from holding ourselves outside of the things that we think mentally, logistically that we want. There are payoffs, whether it could be, you know, a payoff of you still get along and fit in with your friends. It could be a payoff of your, your spouse or partner doesn't think, oh, well, you know, they've outgrown me or you too big for your britches or whatever it is. It could be the payoff of not feeling like you betrayed your family line or your ancestors themselves. It could be the payoff of, I have, I'm, I'm still in struggle. So I'm like them. I'm not, you know, outside of them. I don't have, I, I can't, I don't have to deal with my survivor guilt because I'm the one that made it. There are many different layers of payoffs. 
And we want to switch out of that. And that is going to be a part of this sacred journey as well. So I'm so excited about that. I'm going to show my screen and show you the inside of the portal and go through what our um, what the outline of the course is going to be. But before then, I want to ask if there are any questions. Most will probably be answered, but it's helpful now to just know whether there are any questions um, so that we can make sure to incorporate them into this orientation. Um, and I also want to invite two people. Let's see. So the next two who were the first in the room were Goddess Marnie and Goddess Sakina. So let's talk to Goddess Marnie and then Goddess Sakina. And the question for you is, what is what what made you me? What is your sacred intention for this journey? So Goddess Marnie. Hi, goddess. Hello, goddess. Um, my sacred intention is to to build to come with that curiosity and openness and build on the skills from my soul tarot chorus and your goddess of um. Oh my gosh, am I blanking on it? <laughs> Freaking goddess of rising <laughs> certifications just to elevate myself and my clients to the next level. Okay, beautiful. So elevate, elevate, elevate. So that is your key word going forward for this journey. Thank you, Goddess Marnie. Elevate. Okay. Goddess Sakina. Let's see, is she still in the room? Hello. Hello, Goddess Sakina. Okay, what is your sacred intention? for this journey, goddess? It's building up my confidence and being able to really connect and and know that um, about how to provide to not only myself, but to my clients, the assuredness of, of how to connect with my ancestors. Um, my intention is just having more confidence in that and knowing my, only my power and knowing, knowingness, knowingness. Beautiful, beautiful goddess. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, so let's look into the inside of the course. If anyone has any questions, you can type them in the comments while I share the screen and get us the inside of the course so that we can take a look at our how our journey will unfold for the next eight eight weeks including this week next seven weeks of the course okay yeah and it's so interesting i did an oshun ritual this morning and now there are a lot of bees in my backyards so i just want to just say hello to the bees all right so <laughs> okay so oh. all right so i'm share my screen and okay so here is the inside of your learning portal if you have not already signed in you can immediately after this or or not whenever you are feeling aligned to go and sign in here. This is where everything, um, all of our replays, all of your workbooks, all of your worksheets, um, the chat will all be here. Uh-oh, there we go. <laughs> or we'll be here usually. <laughs> all right, let me come back here and let's reshare it. Hello to the full moon energy and the eclipse, partial lunar eclipse energy. Okay, all right, so here we go again. All right, move this over. Okay, all right, so you can, if you, if you forgot your password, just click forgot password and you can sign in here and this will become more populated as we, as you go forward in the course. So 
as you go forward, this is going to, right now, It's when you look in, it's going to be very thin because obviously it's a live round of the course. Well, not for those of you who are watching after uh, years hence on replay, but right now for everyone who is on the live round, this is where we are now. And it will become more populated as you go forward. So you can click on any lesson and go in and you will see um, see the lessons all there. Your Zoom links will always be here. It's always going to be the same link. So this is your Zoom link and the dates are also here in the course. So if you, you will also get a weekly email that says, here's the Zoom link and here's how to access it. But there are some of you um, who have unsubscribed in the past. And if you unsubscribed in the past, then you will not, it's a flaw of teachable you will not get the course emails. They have at the bottom of the email of some emails, it says unsubscribe from marketing emails. So people see that and think, oh, well, I'm already in. Let me unsubscribe from marketing emails. Unfortunately, it also unsubscribes you from course emails. So if you notice that you're not getting a weekly Zoom link and you would like to, then get in contact and we will figure out uh, getting you back in on onto your subscription. But if not, don't worry about it. You can always email or not, look in here and you will have your Zoom link that is here. All right, there's also a reminder here to get your deck. All of that is really simple. Okay, then your bonuses and different different ones of you came in at different time, different goddesses came at different times, so you have different bonuses, but you will find your bonuses at the beginning of your portal. And then the group chat area, this will also um, evolve and grow as we move forward, okay? So the two group, cha group chats that are active right now are the introduction space. So I want to invite you to please go ahead and introduce yourself here all right as some goddesses have already been doing so go here and introduce yourself and this is important because this is unless you are not wanting community and that's perfectly fine as well but i i urge you to to think about changing your mind on that this is a community experience and so you're going to be working with each other to do readings. You're going to be working with each other on this journey. All right. So you want to start to get to know each other, even if you are shy or have anxiety or never put yourself out there or it's scary or whatever. This is a safe space. And I want you to start to think of yourself as a leading edge thinker. I want you to start to think of yourself actually as a leading edge beer, <laughs> right? And so we are coming together as a circle and as a community. So please introduce yourself. The next chat that is also already active is questions for me to answer live. Some of you, most of you, many of you during this time of the live, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Fridays, this is a work time or a school time for you. So you may not attend live. And if that is the case, no worries at all. Each replay is also always uploaded within 48 hours right in here into this learning portal. And what you can do, what I recommend you do is if you have questions and when there's homework, you go and you ask your questions here and then watch back the replay. So I can say, uh, goddess Kathy, you know, here's the answer to your question or goddess Davina or whomever it is. Okay, so feel free to just post your questions here and I will answer in the live sessions. And the other, the third chat that I, I'm gonna open um, today or this weekend is going to be a chat for people who are just saying, do you want to connect with others? Put your contact information so that you all can reach out and connect with each other, um, begin to connect if you are wanting to do so. All right. And again, that is not mandatory at all, but that is if you're wanting to do so. All right. And then here is, you know, like I said, this will all be populated as we go forward, as we go through the deck. It's very short now, but this will all be filled in um, for people who are wanting to um, build their own course portals and do their own teaching and want to use Teachable. 
you can click this link here and I believe Teachable will give you some sort of a discount for signing up there for people who that is of interest to you. All right. So I'm hearing someone. Was there a question? Someone saying something? No. Okay. All right. So that is what this, uh, this portal looks like. And as I said, you will be able to download your um, videos, audios, um, workbooks, worksheets, everything all right in there. All right, so let me come on back over and see if there are any questions. And then I'll talk about how to do certification. All right, okay, so no questions yet. Okay, good. All right, so the way that the certification is going to work, so the secrets of the ancestors certification process for those who are interested in being certified again it's not mandatory you can just be taking the course for your own personal edification we'll give you a certification as a secrets of the ancestors oracle reader and the certification process includes completing all training videos an assessment which you can also call a quiz but an assessment um, and a submission of four approved case studies. So case studies are readings that you have done for other people. We'll get more specific on that. Um, all of your progress is tracked and marked. And if you complete all of the requirements and accept the Secrets of the Ancestors Oracle School Code of Practice, you will receive your certification. All right, so that is what the certification process is. It is pretty straightforward. There will be other things as we go on that I ask you to buy. Like suppose, I'm, I'm just making this up right now, but suppose we were doing an abundance ritual and I asked you to bring rice, you know, like the, that sort of thing. It will not, there won't be anything that is, you know, cost prohibitive. But even in that case, if I say buy rice and you're not able to do so at the moment, just let me know and we will figure it out. We are a community. Everything is figure outable. We are in this together. We are in this journey together. We're in this journey to ancestors are well pleased. Our ancestors are well pleased. Okay, beautiful. Other things that it may be helpful for you to have are the African goddess rising oracle deck because I will be working the decks together in certain lessons. So that could be helpful for you to have. The other thing that is helpful for you to have is this book, which has rituals in it. So we will refer to it. So that will be helpful for you to have. So those are certain things that it's helpful for you to have. The other thing that I will ask you to do during the eight weeks of this journey is to pull a daily card to pull a daily card at the at the same time every day so that could be lunchtime that could be the beginning of your day whatever it is the beginning of pull a daily card and track it in a notebook or journal it could be a very simple one so this is the one that i will be using while on this journey uh, it has <laughs> baby scribbles on it. <laughs> so I'll be getting a, a new version of this. Um, but this is a very simple, and I will put I will put links portal as well to recommended notebooks um, and what it, but you can use anyone. You can use anyone that you desire. And what you will write, try to find like an empty page just, just to show you. So you could write at the beginning of the page. So this is very simple. This is not like the, for those who are in the priestesshood, the elaborate um, soul books that we've done, you can certainly continue to add this to your soul book. Um, but this is very simply, you would write at the top of this um, page, what is on the bottom of the card and any thoughts or reaction that you have underneath it, okay? So that is just going to be the way that you are going to be recording over the course of this journey as you are pulling a daily card. And if you don't know what to write, I always say, write, I don't know what to write. That's perfectly fine. You can consult the guidebook, but what I think would be most powerful is if you, depending on your time and, and resources that you have, um, time resources that you have, you pull a daily card, right? You look at the card and read it with the knowledge and information and guidance that you have before consulting the guidebook. 
write down your thoughts and reactions and then read the guidebook to see how in accordance or how in alignment you are. And that's going to shift as we move forward and through this journey. Okay. All right. Any other questions, questions, thoughts, concerns? You can unmute yourself and feel free to speak. Yes, Goddess Linda said the ancestors told Ruby to bless my journal. Absolutely. Let's see. Okay, someone's saying I got my deck today. Oh, can I show the book again? All right, so here is what this book looks like. No stickers and whatnot that I didn't put here. <laughs> I'm going to get a different version, but this is what this looks like. It's very, a very simple, easy. I love the, um, it, it feels to me like an, complicated um, ancestral document, if you will. So there's this one. And so I will, I'll put the links to these in the learning portal. I think she means African oh. goddess rising. Ah, okay, got it. Okay. So here yeah, here. Is African place. goddess initiation. Yeah. African goddess initiation. I'll also put a link to this book in the, um, in the learning portal as well. Okay, so, but I'm holding it up right now in case anyone needs to screenshot it or take a picture. Okay, all right, good. Um, and if you're unfamiliar also with this book, this book could be helpful as well. Okay. All right. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Yes. I don't even have a question. I just am thankful and happy to be here. Yay! I don't. I, you're, I'm not seeing you on my screen. Who is that? Who am I? Who is? I'm Deborah. Of? Hello, Goddess Deborah. <laughs> Can you see me? I'm not seeing you. Wait, let me see. I'm, 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 oh I'm, my I'm, god! I see you now. I see you now. I see you. I see you. Yay! And we, okay. I, we, have, we have. I think like it's very interesting the the names that recur in each container like different. I think there are probably. I think I saw like two or three. Deborah's that are registered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> were you? I think you you were the Deborah who I said, Deborah, did you already register? You said no, that wasn't me. Was that you? No, that, that wasn't me. me. Okay, that was the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. No, that you were there. but I don't have a question. I just really have gratitude and and, and so much excitement, actually. And yeah, yeah. So gratitude for you for yeah, for bringing forth your superpowers and sharing it and leading and guiding and mentoring and loving us and holding space. I am so excited. I don't know what to do. I've already had these decks, okay? I had this I had that goddess deck 2 years ago and I just pre-ordered this one like on the pre-order yeah. so Yes, yes, I am listen, I am I am like ready. I am serious. Yay. Okay. Well, Goddess Deborah, pull a card for us then from the Secrets of the Ancestors Oracle. Yes. Take us out of here by pulling a card for us. Okay. I have blessed my deck already. I Excellent. did. Excellent. Good. So I'm going to and, and, and just give, a, give some information. So for those who are brand, brand new, blessing of the deck, we're going to learn how to do that in the next session. So please go ahead, Goddess Deborah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh my gosh, You, I have a story behind this. This is the father of fire. Aww. This is the father of fire. And you it's all that. about your, yeah, it's all about your passion, like to ignite your passion. I know this one. I know this one intimately. Honestly, uh, uh, Goddess Abiola, I really know this one intimately. This is my ancestor and I felt this ancestor. I really felt this ancestor when I pulled the card and it, you know, I, I pulled at a time where, you know, it just keeps coming up. It's like, you have got to get it, girl. Get your passion ignited. I love Father Fire. I do. I love this ancestor right here. This oh, ancestor is seriously <laughs> always with me. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, that you is want me to read it? Yes, please do. <laughs> okay. All right, ladies. This is, oh. This is an amazing ancestor. He's very strong, very regal, very loving. And oh my God, he has so much for you. Okay, so listen. All right. If you have a yes or no question, Papa Fire steps forward to give you a clear yes. 
Okay, everybody in the circle. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, type yes, yes. yes. Type yes in the comments. Goddess Molly says she loves your energy, Goddess Deborah. Go ahead, Goddess Deborah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the time is now for that big passionate vision. All things are possible. You are possible. Keep the enthusiasm up. Your qualities as a natural born leader are required. Get it done. As usual, you are trying to wear all the hats, but that will stagnate your growth. You need to support. You need support in your current endeavor. Embrace your raw desires. You deserve unbridled pleasure. Be adventurous and fearless in pursuing new experiences. Express your sensuality. Taking the lead is sexy in every aspect of your life. And here's an ancestral memory. Whew, I love this ancestor. Oh my God. The father of fire comes forward as the much feared, uber powerful Shango, the Yoruba Orisha of thunder and lightning. Shango was a king who became a defied ancestor. And here's the medicine. This is juicy divine yang energy. It is safe to take charge with motivated action. Try EFT, emotional freedom techniques, tapping to help you relax into your, your natural leadership. I love this. And here's a declaration. I yes. am going for it. I am going for it. I got in the we, comments. I am going for it. We are going for it. Oh my I'm God. I'm going for it. Yes. I am, I am going for it. Yes. I have to. I have to. Oh my gosh. Do you, do I need to read the shadow aspect? No, we don't need to read okay. the shadow aspect, but I just want to acknowledge you, Goddess Deborah. Can we see why she keeps getting this card? She said she keeps on this ancestor who's saying natural. I love this. Why she keeps on getting this card. <laughs> Thank this you, ancestor. Goddess. Thank, Thank you, you goddess. so much. Thank oh, you. you are a blessing. I'm so glad that you are here. Thank you for being here. And for everyone again, so next Friday, so everyone next Friday, and if you're watching this and you have not signed up yet, please go on ahead and do so. All right, next Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, bring your candle because we begin by lighting a candle to connect us in the space. Bring your deck, bring your notebook, bring some water and bring your beautiful energy. And we don't have to say bring your ancestors because they will be there with you. We come as one, but we stand as 10,000. So deep bow to each and every one of you. If questions, thoughts, concerns, anything comes up that we have not covered, feel free to drop me an email or just put it there in the chat. And mm. let's make this happen together. I say, I say, I say to all of you. I say, I say, thank you. Love you, sister. See y'all next Welcome. week. Yay. <laughs>